So welcome, let's go ahead and create our project. So I'm making use of Visual Studio 2019. So I'm going to go ahead and click on create a new project. And of course, we want to build an Android app. So we're going to go ahead and select this template and click on next. So here we're going to name it weather app. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and click on create. So let's select blank app because we want to start from scratch. We're going to click OK. So our project is currently being created. Okay, so our project has been successfully created. So Visual Studio 2017, you know, adds a bunch of stuff for you to help you really get started with a lot of features that you possibly might want to implement on your app. But we don't actually need all of these right now. So I'm going to go ahead and get rid of this and get rid of this. So the first thing we want to do will be to go ahead and create our design amongst every other thing. So our main layout is being loaded. It's going to take a while because this is the first time that we are loading up the layout. Okay, so we have our layout fully loaded. The first thing I usually want to do will be to increase the size of my layout. Okay, so the first things first, we need to change this to linear layout. So we're going to be making use of a linear layout here. And we're going to go ahead and set the orientation. We're going to set it to vertical. So the next thing we need to do will be to bring in our project resources. So what I've done is that I've added the image resources that we're going to be using for this particular project in the resource section of this particular lecture. So I'm going to pause the video for a while and give you time to download the files. Okay, I actually didn't pause it, but I know you've downloaded it. So I'm going to go ahead and add in my image resources to the project. So I'm going to go to resource folder. It appears that Visual Studio 2019 doesn't automatically add the drawable folder for us. So we're going to go ahead and create that manually. The next thing we need to do will be to add our image resources. So this is going to be an existing item. So these are the two image resources we are going to be making use of. So I'm going to highlight both of them and add it. So the resources has been added to our project. Now the next thing I need to do will be to change our linear layout background. So I'm going to use the weather image as the background of our linear layout. Okay, so now we have that. So the next thing we need to do will be to change the theme of our application. So we're going to go to stars.xml. We're going to change this to no action bar because we don't want an action bar. So the next thing we need to do will be to go to our colors.xml and change the colors of our team. So we're going to go ahead and change our color primary dark to something more stylish and vibrant. So I'm going to use 1C3AA9. Okay, so this looks vibrant. And for the accent color, I'm going to change it to E68A1F. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and save this up. And we're going to return to our main activity design. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and pull up the completed app for a moment. So what we need to do now will be to define a edit test and a button, all right? And we're going to put it inside a relative layout. So I'm going to have a relative layout. So now we have a relative layout and we made use of weight instead of the normal height. So we set the weight to 0.2. So the next will be to define our edit test. So the width is going to be match parent and the height will be wrap content. We're going to have some margin to the left and right. So we're going to go ahead and set the text color. This was supposed to be white. So I'm going to go ahead and set the hint. So the hint reads enter city name. And I'm going to send the gravity to center. I'm going to center it in parent. And finally, I'm going to go ahead and set the ID. ID should actually be this first thing. Okay. So now that we have that out of the way, the next thing we need to do will be to define our check weather button. I'm going to have button and the width is going to be 200 dp and the height is going to be say 35 dp so let's go ahead and set other attributes of the button so i'm going to center it horizontally i'm going to set this to true i'm going to set the background to our ascent color okay so this will change eventually i'm going to set the test of the button 
I'm going to set the text color to white. So this will suffice. Now I'm going to go ahead and set the ID of the button. I'm going to call this get order button. So we're going to need to position this button under this enter city name edit test. So I'm going to go ahead and say Android the layout below. And here we're going to put the ID of, of our edit test. So I'm going to go ahead and copy this directly and I'm going to paste it here. Boom. And we're going to go ahead and add some margin to the top. Okay, so now that we have that out of the way, the next thing we need to do will be to define another relative layout. And the height is going to be 0 dp as well. And we're going to make use of layout weight. The weight is going to be 0 0.8. Okay, so now we have our re relative layout, our second relative layout. We're going to go ahead and add an image view, which is this image view that we see here, first of all. So what I have here is that I set center vertical to be true. That means that this will be in the middle of the height of our relative layout. And also we went ahead to set the ID as weather image. And the image we are currently seeing is coming from our drawable the sunshine. And the layout height and width is 50 each. So I'm going to go ahead and add some padding to our relative layout. Okay. Now the next thing we need to do will be to set up the temperature test. So I'm going to go ahead and say test view and this is going to be wrap content and this is going to be wrap content as well and the gravity is going to be center and the test is going to read just 27 I'm going to set the test to say 27 that's 27 degrees Celsius and the test color is going to be white we need to set that explicitly okay so we have the test color as white we need to increase the test size we need to increase it to 30 30 SP and also I'm going to center it vertically in our parent. So the next thing I need to do will be to say Android the layout to the right of. So here I'm going to go ahead and copy the ID of our image view, the image that displays our weather condition. And we're going to paste our ID here. Boom. So the next thing will be to add some margin to it because it's too close to this image. So we're going to add some margin to the left. I'm going to add 15 dp. I'm going to set the test style. We're going to set it to bold. Boom. So we have our test view. So now that we have that, let's pull up our completed project. So we need to add the weather description test view, which is this that we see here. And also we need to add the place test view. So we're going to go ahead and add another test view. Okay. So we now added a new test view. The ID is weather description test. The height is wrap content and the width is wrap content. Gravity is center. Test is shower rain, which will always be changing depending on the place um, weather description. So we have the test color as white. The test size is 40 dp. And we set it to be below weather image, which is this. We want it to be below this particular widget here. So we went ahead to set our margins. Now the next thing we need to do will be to define another test view that will display a place address. Now we have the ID as place test. Of course the width and height is wrap content. And the gravity is center and the test is Lagos NG and the test color is white. The test size is 30 SP and it is below description test. And also we have layer margin to the top as 10 dp which is this space from here to here that we see and margin to the left just a little bit so guys this is basically all that we need to do with the ui setup so let's go ahead and build this app and launch it and ensure that we are done with the design okay so it seems that we had some issues with our stars the xml so instead of having this as dark we're going to change it to light this is where we started making the mistake so i'm going to save this up so let's go ahead and click on rebuild so rebuilding has started so rebuilding was successful so the next thing we need to do will be to go ahead and try to run our app so that we can ensure that the design came out exactly as we wanted it boom so this is exactly what we wanted to have almost exactly what we wanted to have the only thing we need to edit will be the hint color of our edit test 
But when you talk about the design, it's almost exactly with the completed app. So we're gonna go back to our Visual Studio and I'm gonna go ahead and change the hint color. So we're gonna say android.hint, test color hint, white. So let's test run our design and ensure that everything is exactly how we wanted it. Okay, so our app is deploying once more. So we're going to confirm that everything checks out. So congratulations, guys. We successfully created our beautiful design. In the next class, we're going to be looking at how to acquire API keys to open weather API, which is what we'll be using to build our weather application. So see you in the next class.